continued last night with a convincing 41 0 win over Mount Michael, the second ranked team in Class B, making a claim for the top spot, but they'll have a chance to make that case next week at Bennington. Speaking of the Badgers, warning another victory on the way. First quarter, enter Sandman. Peyton Sandman slings it to Ben Jorgensen. Number three, going to walk in to the end zone. 7 0 Badgers. Bennington adding to Westview's woes. Sandman up the seam this time to Elliot Anderson. Mr. Anderson for six, if you please. Badgers move to 7 0 with a 56 0 win. Down the road at Ralston, Rams and Scott Catholic going at it. Skyhawk defense working on a shutout. Kyler Seaman makes a nice read on the throw and hauls in the beauty of the interception. Ensuing scut drive, Bennett Terman. Watch this, gonna drop it in the bucket for Danny Johnson. DJ in for the TD. Skyhawk soar past the Rams, 55 0. How about Platt Smith? Buena Vista Blue Devils, the surprise team so far in Class B. Early first quarter, Gabe Villamonte with the give to Caleb Atkins, who runs it in. 14-0 Blue Devils. Later, sticking it on the ground. Ethan Walker this time in for six. Blue Devils dominate the Bison 70 to nothing. Friday matinee in Elkhorn, the Antlers meeting Blair scoreless in the second. Bears finally find the end zone. Bodie suck up across the middle to Creighton Matalin. 7-0 visitors. Elkhorn, though, would tie things up right before the break. Peyton Terman lofted one up to Cade Matthews, who comes down with it. Beautiful pitch and catch. Seven all at halftime, and it would stay that way until the fourth when Blair takes the lead for good. It's that duo again for the Bears, making magic happen. Blair hangs on for the road win, 28 to 21. Norris and Gross Catholic looking to each get over 500 with the win. Titans with some old school football on a cold night. Fullback dive, anyone? Eli Holt taking it in up the gut, puts Norris up 10 0. Titans trying to add to their lead, but the Cougars claw back. Tip ball. And Bryson Sargent, sir, yes, sir, is there for the pick. But Gross unable to cash in. Norris wins it 30 to 14. In Council Bluffs, Grant Bricks and Loma renewing their rivalry at St. Albert. If you bet a safety as the first points of the game, go buy a lottery ticket. Falcons jump out to a 2 0 lead after the punt goes through the back of the end zone. The Panthers, though, would figure things out. Evan Roden, he could go all the way, and he does. 66 yards on the score. Panthers run away with it, 43-18. Elsewhere in Council Bluffs, Lewis Central making light work of winter set. Opening drive, Brody Patlin pounding in the rock from a yard out, 7-0 LC. And you know what? That worked so well the first time. Titans going to do it again. A little further out this time, but the same result. Patlin in from 26. Titans take down the Huskies, 42-6.